Story 1. In 1987, in the beautiful country of Nigeria, there lived a young man named Afan. At 27, he had already devoted his life to working as a ranger in one of Nigeria's renowned national parks. Afan had a deep passion for wildlife and a strong sense of duty to protect the natural wonders of his homeland. One bright morning on the 23rd of March at 9 a.m., Afan's life took an unexpected turn. It was a day that he would remember for the rest of his life. On this particular day, Afan's girlfriend, a remarkable young woman named Ava, paid him a surprise visit at the park. Ava was a PhD student in biology, and her enthusiasm for wildlife and animals was nothing short of inspiring. She was part of a group conducting a research project on the park's diverse animal population. Afan was delighted to see Ava and gave her a warm welcome. He was more than willing to share his extensive knowledge about the park's inhabitants with her. As their group ventured into the park, they excitedly observed and documented the activities of various animals, taking photographs and notes to contribute to their research. While exploring the park, Ava noticed a majestic lion in the distance. His presence was both awe-inspiring and intimidating. Ava couldn't resist the opportunity to capture this magnificent creature on camera. She cautiously approached the lion and began taking pictures, ensuring she didn't disturb the beast. However, as Ava focused on her task, the lion suddenly became aware of her presence. It turned its attention toward her and in a swift, startling moment, leaped towards her camera. The sound of the lion's powerful leap startled Ava, and she cried out in terror as she realized the danger she was in. Afan, who had been engaged with the rest of the group, heard Ava's cry of distress. Without a second thought, he sprinted toward her, his heart pounding with fear for her safety. The group stood in shocked silence as they watched the dramatic scene unfold. Afan approached the lion, his training and instincts kicking in as he tried to control the situation. He knew that the lion's unpredictable behavior posed a grave danger not only to Ava, but also to the group. The confrontation was intense, and the lion's aggression was undeniable. Ava and her friends, while paralyzed with fear, maintained a safe distance, their hearts heavy with worry for a fawn. As the struggle continued, the situation became increasingly dire. The powerful lion proved too much for a fawn to handle alone. Ava, her voice quivering, immediately reached for her phone and called the authorities at the Nigerian park. She provided them with their location and a frantic description of the situation. It was a race against time as they waited for help to arrive. The park staff responded swiftly to the distress call, understanding the gravity of the situation. They brought with them tranquilizer darts and experience in dealing with such emergencies. As they reached the scene, the lion's agitation had escalated and it was clear that a fawn was in grave danger. The rangers, with a profound sense of urgency, prepared to neutralize the lion. With careful precision, they aimed and fired two tranquilizer darts into the lion's powerful body. The beast's struggles gradually subsided as the sedatives took effect. The team's swift and coordinated action had saved a fawn and prevented a tragedy. With the lion now under control, the rangers turned their attention to a fawn. He was injured, blood staining the ground beneath him. Ava and her friends watched, their hearts heavy with relief and concern, as the park rangers attended to Afan's injuries. Ava, grateful for the presence of the park rangers, thanked them profusely for their swift response. With their assistance, they transported Afan to the nearest hospital, where he could receive the medical attention he desperately needed. The doctors at the hospital worked tirelessly to treat Afan's injuries. It was a trying time for Ava, who had to watch her beloved undergo numerous medical procedures. Afan had suffered internal bleeding and other serious injuries during the confrontation with the lion. As the days turned into weeks, Afan slowly but steadily began to recover. The medical team did everything in their power to ensure his well-being. However, the road to recovery was long and challenging. Afan's body had endured a great deal and the doctors advised that he would need at least three months of bed rest to recuperate fully. The severity of the attack and Afan's condition 
deeply shocked Ava, Afon's family, and friends. They had all feared the worst when they received news of the incident. Afon's loved ones were relieved to see him slowly improving, but the emotional scars left by the traumatic encounter with the lion would take much longer to heal. Physical and emotional difficulties were present during Afon's recovery. The memories of that fateful day haunted him, and he struggled to come to terms with the trauma he had experienced. It was proof of his strength and resilience that he could gradually recover and regain his physical and mental well-being. Over time, Afon's scars began to fade, both the visible ones on his body and the invisible ones in his heart and mind. He returned to his role as a ranger with a renewed dedication to protecting the wildlife he loved. Still, he approached his work with an even greater respect for the power and unpredictability of nature. Ava continued her studies, now with a deep appreciation for the risks and challenges that field researchers like herself and Afon faced. She remained by Afon's side, providing him with steadfast support and love as he worked to rebuild his life after the harrowing encounter with the lion. Story 2 In the year 2000, in Nigeria, there lived a remarkable woman named Ada. She was 33 years old and had spent most of her life working as a ranger in a conservation park in Nigeria. Ada was a dedicated and passionate park ranger, and her family and loving husband were always there to support her in her endeavors. She had a deep love for animals and dedicated her life to protecting and preserving the wildlife in the park. Ada's journey as a ranger had begun early in her life. Growing up in a small village on the outskirts of the conservation park, she had always been captivated by the natural beauty and the diverse range of animals that called the park home. Her fascination with the park's flora and fauna led her to pursue a career in conservation. Her family was proud of her chosen path and encouraged her every step of the way. Her husband, John, shared her love for the outdoors and often joined her on expeditions into the park. Together, they became a formidable team, working tirelessly to safeguard the park's ecosystem. One sunny day, Ada's family and children decided to surprise her with a visit to the park while she was on duty. Ada's children were excited to see the animals and the place where their mother worked. They arrived at the park and were thrilled to join Ada on a ranger jeep ride. The park was home to a rich diversity of wildlife, from graceful antelope to majestic elephants and even the elusive leopard. Ada's children gazed in wonder as they witnessed these creatures in their natural habitat. They saw giraffes grazing on acacia leaves and zebras congregating by a watering hole. Finally, the group arrived at the section of the park where various animals resided. The children were overjoyed to see these magnificent creatures up close and they excitedly filmed the animals and their surroundings. Ada and her husband stood nearby, watching their children's happiness and cherishing this special family time. As the children were filming a group of lion cubs, an unexpected and terrifying event unfolded. In the distance, they noticed a human figure approaching the cubs. Alarmed and bewildered, they realized a lion was heading toward their children. The lion's behavior turned aggressive, rapidly closing in on the children. Ada, without a second thought, leaped into action to protect her beloved children. She ran toward the lion, attempting to shield her children from the imminent danger. It was a heart-stopping moment as Ada put herself between the lion and her children, who were now crying out in fear. Witnessing the perilous situation, Ada's husband quickly contacted the other rangers for help. He called for immediate assistance from the park's emergency hotline, hoping that help would arrive in time. Ada, with unwavering courage, managed to save her children from the lion's wrath. In a desperate struggle, the lion pounced on her, latching onto her leg. The attack was vicious, and Ada's body bore deep and painful wounds. She cried out in pain, but refused to let go of her children, doing everything in her power to protect them. Meanwhile, the other rangers received the distress call and rushed to the scene. They arrived just in time to rescue Ada from the lion's clutches. The lion, injured in the struggle, was driven away, allowing the rangers to secure the area and provide immediate medical attention to Ada. 
Ada was taken to the nearest hospital. Her condition was critical. She had lost a substantial amount of blood, and her body was covered in severe cuts from the lion's attack. The medical team at the hospital worked tirelessly to stabilize her, conducting emergency tests and performing a life-saving operation. Despite their best efforts, the doctors faced a daunting challenge in their attempt to save Ada's life. The loss of blood and the extent of her injuries had taken a severe toll on her body. Tragically, and despite their best efforts, Ada's life could not be saved. The heartbreaking news of Ada's passing sent shockwaves through her family, as well as the entire staff of the park. The children were inconsolable, and their cries echoed the profound void that their mother's absence had left. The news of the fatal lion attack and the loss of a dedicated Nigerian park ranger quickly spread, leaving a lasting mark on the hearts and minds of those who had known Ada. Ada's legacy, however, would not be forgotten. Her heroic sacrifice not only saved her children, but also reinforced the importance of wildlife conservation. She had given her life to protect the park's creatures, and had shown the world the bravery and dedication of park rangers who put themselves in harm's way to preserve our natural world. The memory of Ada's heroic sacrifice, her love for her family, and her commitment to the preservation of wildlife in the park will forever be etched in the annals of the Nigerian park's history. Her bravery in the face of danger, her unwavering love for her children, and her commitment to her work as a ranger serve as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by those who protect and safeguard our natural world. In the years that followed, the park saw an outpouring of support from the local community and international conservation organizations. Ada's story became a symbol of the challenges and sacrifices faced by park rangers worldwide. Her memory served as a rallying cry for better training, resources, and protection for those who worked on the front lines of wildlife conservation. Under the watchful eyes of the rangers who had drawn inspiration from Ada's dedication, the park continued to thrive and its wildlife flourished. The lion that had taken Ada's life was relocated to a more remote part of the park, allowing it to live out its days in peace. Story three. In 1988, in the heart of Nigeria, a young and vibrant girl named Asha embarked on a journey that would define her life and serve as an enduring testament to the unyielding spirit of individuals dedicated to the noble cause of safeguarding our planet's diverse wildlife. Asha's story resonates with courage, passion, and the unexpected twists of fate that life occasionally brings our way. At the time, Asha was a university student juggling her academic pursuits with a part-time job as a ranger in a Nigerian park. Her commitment to her responsibilities was matched only by her insatiable curiosity and deep affection for the animal kingdom. The more time she spent observing and understanding the behavior of the park's diverse inhabitants, the more her passion for wildlife conservation grew. Upon completing her degree, Asha continued her work as a ranger. Her colleagues held her in high regard for her dedication, intelligence, and unwavering commitment to the welfare of the park's wildlife. The Nigerian ranger team was fortunate to have such a devoted and knowledgeable member among their ranks. One sunny morning, the park rangers devised a plan to conduct a thorough check on the animals in the park. The team assembled, ready for the day's expedition. Senior and junior rangers, including Asha, piled into an open jeep, brimming with anticipation. Their destination was the part of the park housing various animal habitats, a place Asha had grown fond of over the years. As the team arrived at the animal side of the park, they dispersed to explore different corners and observe the animals in their natural environments. Asha, in particular, was in her element. Her deep connection with the animals was evident to anyone who watched her work. With a profound understanding of their behavior and a genuine respect for their space, she approached them with rare ease and grace. However, fate had a different plan for Asha that day, one she could never have foreseen. As she quietly observed the animals, a sudden and dangerous presence emerged from the wilderness. A powerful lion, stealthy and swift, had picked up on her scent. 
In an instant, it lunged at her, a terrifying and life-threatening moment that would forever be etched into her memory. Asha found herself in the jaws of danger, desperately trying to fend off the lion's ferocious attack. The animal's sharp teeth and relentless aggression left her severely injured. Her cries for help echoed through the park, a desperate plea for salvation. She couldn't reach her firearm, and fear coursed through her veins as she grappled with the beast. Fortunately, Asha's cries reached the ears of her fellow rangers. Without a moment to spare, they rushed to her aid, ready to confront the savage lion and rescue their colleague. The scene that unfolded before them was nothing short of terrifying. With the lion's deep bite marks marring Asha's leg and her agonized cries filling the air, with steely resolve, the rangers took action, engaging the lion in a fierce battle to free Asha from its powerful grip. Among the rangers, there was a skilled female ranger with expertise in first aid. Without hesitation, she initiated immediate treatment for Asha's injuries, while the rest of the team quickly contacted the nearest hospital. Asha was swiftly transported to the medical facility, and her family was notified of the tragic incident that had befallen their beloved daughter and sister. Inside the hospital, a dedicated team of doctors worked tirelessly to address Asha's grievous injuries. As they carried out numerous surgeries and medical procedures to lessen the harm the lion's attack had caused, her life was in danger. Asha's family and the ranger staff were fighting to save her, their hearts heavy with worry and anticipation. Regrettably, the updates from the medical team brought no solace. Despite their most valiant efforts, they had to convey the grim reality to Asha's family and her colleagues in the park. The lion's ruthless assault had inflicted severe injuries, particularly to her leg, and the prognosis was disheartening. The possibility of her regaining full mobility was uncertain at best. The news was met with disbelief and sorrow, a heavy blow to all who cherished Asha. The terrifying encounter with the lion forever changed Asha's way of life. Despite the physical and emotional scars she bore, Asha remained steadfast and unwavering in her determination to heal and rebuild her life. Her family and the ranger team offered support. Their encouragement served as a beacon of hope as she embarked on her arduous journey to recovery. Asha's life was a profound example of the immense courage and passion it takes to dedicate oneself to the safeguarding of our planet's natural wonders. Her story also underscores the delicate balance that exists between the beauty and danger of the animal kingdom, reminding us of the vital importance of respecting and preserving our natural environment. Story 4 In 1992, a young boy named Sonny embarked on a journey that would become a significant chapter in the country's conservation efforts. Sonny was a passionate and dedicated individual who had a deep fascination with the activities of the animals in one of the wildlife parks in Nigeria. His intense desire to comprehend and safeguard the wildlife that called this park home inspired him to become a park ranger. Sonny spent numerous years diligently working within the park owning his knowledge and skills as a ranger. He was committed to the cause, and his dedication did not go unnoticed. His love for the natural world and his desire to share it with others led to a fateful encounter that would forever mark his legacy. One sunny morning, a group of tourists arrived at the wildlife park. They had specifically requested Sonny to be their ranger, as they heard about his exceptional passion and expertise. Eager to explore the wonders of the park and learn from Sonny, they arrived at the park's entrance promptly at 9 a.m. Sonny greeted the group warmly, and after providing them with a map of the park's locations, they all set off in a sturdy jeep to commence their adventure. The atmosphere was charged with excitement as the group began their journey. Sonny and the tourists engaged in lively discussions about the various animals in the park. They were all thrilled to be there ready to discover the hidden gems of this natural wonderland. Little did they know that their expedition would take an unexpected and dangerous turn. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the park, the group of animal researchers and Sonny began their observations. Sonny watched from a distance as the group went about their research, 
documenting the behaviors of the diverse species that surrounded them. The park was a tapestry of life, with animals going about daily routines, oblivious to human observers. However, the tranquility was shattered when out of nowhere, the most dangerous and imposing creature emerged from the shadows, a massive and majestic lion. The lion's gaze fixed upon the group of humans in the distance, and a hush fell over the park as it assessed its potential prey. Sani, standing some distance away, suddenly felt a jolt of shock and fear as he recognized the imminent danger. The lion's eyes locked onto the group, and the atmosphere became tense. It was evident that the lion was contemplating an attack. In that critical moment, Sani's instincts kicked in, and he knew that he had to act swiftly to protect the tourists under his care. Without a second thought, he raced toward the group, positioning himself between the lion and the defenseless visitors. The tourists were paralyzed with terror as they witnessed Sani's incredible act of bravery. The lion's gaze remained fixed on Sani, and the tension in the air was palpable. With a sudden lightning-fast movement, the colossal lion pounced on Sani. He attempted to wrestle with the beast, doing everything he could to keep the tourists safe. The ensuing struggle was fierce and unforgiving. Sani fought valiantly, but the lion's strength and ferocity were overwhelming. During the chaos, the tourists screamed for help and urgently dialed the park's emergency hotline. The call went out to the other rangers and the park's medical staff. As they raced to the scene, the lion's attack took a devastating toll on Sani. The tourists watched in horror as blood was spilled and the battle between man and beast raged on. Sani's selfless act of courage had not gone unnoticed, and the park's emergency response team arrived as quickly as they could, armed with tranquilizers to subdue the lion. The rangers did their utmost to rescue Sani from the lion's grip, but the damage had already been done. The lion's powerful jaws had inflicted grievous injuries on Sani, and he was in critical condition. Despite their best efforts, it was too late to save him. Tragically, Sani succumbed to his injuries, and his heroic sacrifice will forever be etched in the park's history. His selflessness and unwavering dedication had cost him his life, but he had succeeded in protecting the group of tourists from the lion's wrath. The park staff and tourists were left in shock and mourning. Sani's loss weighed heavily on their hearts, and tears flowed freely as they grappled with the reality of his sacrifice. The group, once brimming with excitement, now left the park with heavy hearts and the memory of a hero who had given his life to save theirs. The attack, as shocking and dangerous as it was, served as a stark reminder of the risks that park rangers face in their efforts to safeguard both wildlife and those who come to appreciate it. Sonny's story became a symbol of bravery and selflessness, an inspiration to all who heard it. His legacy lived on in the hearts of the people he had touched, and the park continued to thrive as a testament to his dedication. In the years that followed, the park authorities implemented additional safety measures, such as improved training for rangers and enhanced emergency response protocols. Sonny's sacrifice had not been in vain. It had spurred positive changes that aimed to protect both the park's wildlife and the dedicated individuals who worked to preserve it.